Hi everybody, this is Maureen Wong from mycasestudies.blogspot.com. I just got an order from joanne.com and it's full of awesome stuff so I wanted to share with you all. Um, first I'm going to go really quickly through the stuff that I got and then I wanted to explain a little bit more about the products in case you're not familiar with them. Um, some of them I was not aware of and I was just browsing joanne.com and I came across a bunch of Spellbinders products that I had never seen before. They're not brand new, but they're new to me and I thought maybe some of you might not be familiar with them either, so I thought I'd share with you a little bit about how they work. Uh, first of all, before I get to all my Spellbinders products, I got this pair of Julie Nutting Mixed Media Stamped Wings from Prima. I have one of the Mixed Media Dolls. Um, and I thought these wings might be a cute addition or just on their own in my fun journal or something. I'll figure out something to do with them, but I just thought they were so cute and they were on sale, so I had to get them. Now moving on, everything else is from Spellbinders, a bunch of new stuff that I haven't seen before and I'm really anxious to play with. The first one is this A2 sized Embossabilities reversible embossing folder and this one is called cabbage roses and let me there you can see the two different designs that you can get I haven't seen these before the embossabilities folders um, but you actually get one pattern on one side and then you flip the folder over and you get another pattern and yeah you can see I've been playing with this one already it's a little bit stained and you can see what I was doing with it. This is the um, smaller of the cabbage roses. And I did a little bit of full letterpress because I've been so into full letterpress lately. Um, so that's how that looks. The next one I got, these other two embossabilities folders that I got are A7 size. Um, wait. I think they're called A7. They're 5 by 7 which is not a card size I normally do but I thought these were really pretty so I bought them anyway and I thought maybe I can make some larger size cards uh, for my husband's office for when they have birthdays. They have a lot of people that need to sign the card so if I make larger size cards that might accommodate more signatures. Um, so this is the folder you can see again it's that double sided embossing folder and I have been playing with this one as well. And this is the design that came out. My full letter pressing isn't as good on this one. Um, instead of using my brayer with the ink pad, I just took the ink pad straight to the folder and I think it came out a little bit splotchy. So in the future for my full letter press technique, I'd probably use my brayer instead. Um, but here you go, you can see the two different designs. I really, really like this flower design, so I mainly got it for that. But this other one with the flowers and the, I guess they look like bow ties, is pretty cute too. So you'll be seeing those on cards in the future from me. And the last one I got, this one is called Framed Petite Labels. And you can see the two different designs. What they do is emboss a design. This one is stripes and this one has dots. And sorry for the glare. Um, and then they make this big flat label shape in the middle where you could stamp a sentiment um, would be perfect in there. And so I got this one and this also is a 5x7 size reversible embossing folder um, and I haven't yet played with that one but you'll be seeing that in the future on my blog. Next up I got a whole bunch of dies. The first two are from their line called Imperial Gold. And you can see that I've taken these out of the packages and the dies are actually gold instead of the normal, um, I'm not sure what brownish coppery color this is, of their normal dies. Um, but these ones are actually called their Imperial Gold Mine. And these are the gold squares one and gold rounds one. And these actually do not have an inner or outer full cutting edge. They do cut out small little designs, but otherwise they just do the um, impressions and tiny little bits of die cutting. And I'll show you a little bit more about those in the second half of the video. 
I also got this 5x7 Elegant Labels 4, which is supposed to go along with the Labels 4 dies, which I already have from Spellbinders. And I'll show you a little bit more about that later too. I got this Radiant Rectangle set of seven, and this one I have never seen before. It's a set of seven nesting dies. The neat thing about this is that you can mix and match them, and it says on the front to create 20 plus designs, and I'll show you a little bit more about that soon. This is the Romantic Rectangles, and again, this is another larger size set. Um, pretty straightforward. It just comes with four dies, and they make these really pretty rectangle die cuts, and so I wanted to get that one. And then the final one I got is this A2 sized filigree delight. This is from the amazing Paper Grace. Becca Feekin designed this, and I think it's just beautiful. Um, comes with a set of five dies, and you can see them all here. There's just this lacy frame, um, an oval that goes perfectly inside of that lacy frame, a corner design, this little, um, I think you can thread ribbon through it, and I'm not sure what this is either, but they're just really pretty. You can see all the designs on the front, and I really like this set and wanted to get it. Pretty straightforward though, so I don't think I have to explain what those do. Okay, now going back in reverse order this time. Going back to the Radiant Rectangles, like I said, this is an interesting set of nesting dies, seven dies. They, some of them actually have a full cutting edge, so this one actually has an inner full cutting edge and it will cut out a big panel. And it actually will do embossing on the outside. So if you take out the inside and you just leave the outside portion, of your frame, you will actually have an embossed detail on that. And then what you can do is pair these cutting edge dies up with the non-cutting edge dies. This one actually has little bits of cutting edge, but not a full frame around it. So what it does is embosses and it cuts tiny little designs from the inside. And what you do is if you want that frame shape on the outside of that design, you would put them together and run them through your machine like this. And then you would get a cutout shape that has little bits of cutout design and embossed designs and a solid center because this doesn't have an inner cutting line, a full inner cutting line, it would leave this center solid. So if you wanted to make a real frame where the inside and outside is cut out, you would use this, the next largest size die, and this one has an outer cutting edge. So you would use this together with it and this would make a full frame with an inside cutout for your card. And then you can just take the other dies and layer them however you want. You can use um, just these two together or these three or however you want to put them all together. And that's why Spellbinder says it can mix and match to create 20 plus designs. So that's a really interesting set. Going back to the 5x7 Elegant Labels that goes along with the Labels 4. Um, you can see it comes with three dies, this giant frame and then this inner portion and a little um, like tag shape with ribbon slots. And I actually did cut out the two larger pieces from this set. You can see this is the largest frame and it cuts out all of these little bits here and I actually um, did not run this through my embossing machine, I mean um, my die cutting machine on the embossing setting, but it will emboss little intricate details on this too. And then this is the next largest size, which as you can see fits right on top of there with a perfect border all around, but here's a better look at it just by itself. And again, I didn't bother to specially emboss this one, but you can do that with these dies. You just run it through your die cutting machine with the embossing mat 
and then you would get all the embossed detail and then this is supposed to go together with labels for and this is the original labels for I have the largest die here and you can see how that just fits right in the center of this piece but if you wanted more of a border you could go with the next largest size and it would be about that size in comparison so yeah, it is a perfect match for the labels for, and I think it's just a really pretty set. Um, you could go clean and simple if you wanted with this, because there is so much open white space, but yet it's very delicate and elegant and fancy with the die cutting. So it's kind of fancy and clean and simple all at the same time. And then finally, back to the Imperial Gold squares and rounds. What these are, are enhancing elements. That's what the line is called, enhancing elements. And these are to enhance the shapes that you already have. So for instance, this square does not have a cutting edge. None of them have full inner or outer cutting edges. It just has this embossed design on it. So if you emboss that on your design, you're going to get this square with a sort of, um, it has a sunburst pattern on it. And what I did was I took my regular square dies, I have them in these CD cases on magnets, and I took one of the dies, just the plain square, I think it was not the large size, but the small size, the largest size of no, actually, whoop, sorry, that was wrong. It was the large size, the largest die in the large set. I cut that out, and actually what I did was I got the second largest square from the Imperial Gold set, and I laid these together, made sure they were perfectly centered, and ran them through my die cut machine together. And then this one I actually did run it through with the embossing mat also, and this is what I got. The regular classic squares cuts out the outside edge, and then the enhancing element cuts out these tiny little bits and does embossed designs. You can't see that very well, I guess, but it does an embossed design, and it comes out really neat. And you don't have to do it with just the size that's right next to it so that it nests perfectly, you could actually go into one of the smaller sizes and put that in and you can see how that would fit in. Or if you want, you can actually put them all inside and have a really, really intricate detailed design and no stamping is needed. You could just add a sentiment onto that and be done with it. And that would be a really quick and simple card, but it would look so elegant and complicated that people would think you took a lot of time on it. So that's what these enhancing elements are. And then you don't have to even match up the square with the square shapes. Here I took a square and I put one of the circle rounds enhancing elements and you can see how it cut those tiny little circles and then did this great embossed detail. I actually ran it through the embossing with the embossing mat also to get that great embossed detail and then it just did that right on the square. This is the classic square. So you can mix and match your different shapes as well, which gives you just endless possibilities. So I think these enhancing elements are really neat. I'm going to have fun playing with those as well. Um, I'm going to have fun playing with everything, and hopefully I'll be showing you some cards on my blog soon at mycasestudies.blogspot.com. Thanks very much for watching. See you later.